speakers during this press conference. The first is going to be the Boulder Police Chief Maris Harold. Her name is spelled M-A-R-I-S H-E-R-O-L-D. Then we're going to have District Attorney Michael Doherty, and then we're going to have someone from the U.S. Attorney's Office, Chief Harold. Thanks, Dion. The first thing I want to say is I want to say our hearts of this community go out to the victims of this horrific incident. We know of uh, 10 fatalities uh, at the scene, including one of our Boulder PD officers by the name of Eric Talley, who's been on the Boulder Police Department since 2010. He's served in numerous roles supporting the Boulder Police Department and the community of Boulder. And I have to tell you, the heroic action of this officer when he responded to this scene. At 1430 hours, the Boulder Police Department began receiving phone calls of shots fired in the area and a phone call about a possible person with a patrol rifle. Officer Talley responded to the scene, was the first on the scene, and he was fatally shot. I also want to commend the heroic actions of the officers responding not only from Boulder PD, but from across the county and other parts of this region. Police officers' actions fell nothing short of being heroic. I also want to thank the men and women who responded, including state, local, and federal authorities. Obviously, this is a very complex investigation that will take no less than five days to complete. And again, my heart goes out to the victims of this incident. And I'm grateful for the police officers that responded. And I am so sorry about the loss of Officer Talley. And again, we will be here working night and day we have one suspect in custody. I want to reassure the community that they are safe and that we will try to do our best over the next few hours to identify the victims. And we'll be working with the coroner's office to do that as promptly as possible because I know there are people out there waiting for an answer. And I am very sympathetic to that. And we will work around the clock to get this accomplished. With that in mind, I'm going to turn this over to District Attorney Michael Doherty. Good evening. Boulder has suffered a terrible and horrific mass shooting today. And I want to second what the Chief said about the appreciation for the local, state, and federal partners that have responded to this location and to help with the investigation. This is not the first mass shooting that we've had in the state of Colorado. And one thing that's happened in response to each and every one, including today's horrific acts, is the response that we have from law enforcement partners throughout the metro area, victim advocates from throughout the area around Boulder, and investigators from local, state, and federal agencies, as well as prosecutors from the U.S. Attorney's Office and from my office, to ensure that justice is done. My heart goes out. Eric Talley's family, his loved ones, and his colleagues. He was, by all accounts, one of the outstanding officers of the Boulder Police Department, and his life was cut far too short as he responded to the shooting that was taking place at King Supers. I also want to stress how incredibly sorry I am for all the victims who were killed at King Supers. These were people who were going about their day, doing their food shopping, and their lives were cut abruptly and tragically short by the shooter, who is now in custody. I promise the victims and the people of the state of Colorado that we will secure justice and do everything we must do to get justice in this case. In order for that to happen, a painstaking investigation is already underway, both at the crime scene and in interviews, to make sure that we receive all the accurate information. Once that information is secured, we'll be sharing that with the media and with the community. I would say that I hope the people of this country uh, 
send the families of the loved ones their thoughts and prayers. But from my perspective, there's more for us to do than just give us, give them our thoughts and prayers. We're going to go all out to ensure that the right result is reached. And that's why I'm very grateful that we do have local, state, and federal agencies all responding to this location here today to ensure that the investiga investigation is thorough and complete and ensures that we reach justice in this case. As I mentioned, the shooter is currently in custody. He was injured. With an eye towards the prosecution of that case, we're going to be very careful about the crime scene and how we go about this investigation. We owe it to the families of all the victims, each and every one of them, to ensure that justice is done. And I promise you that is our commitment, and we will work tirelessly to get there. I'm going to turn it over to the U.S. Attorney, Matt Kirsch, who's here on behalf of the U U.S. Attorney's Office. And again, I greatly appreciate the local, state, and federal cooperation on this investigation. Thank you, Michael. I'm Matt Kirsch. I'm the acting U.S. Attorney for the District of Colorado. This has obviously been a tragic event, and I'm here simply to assure both the families of the victims and the community that the full weight of federal law enforcement is going to support the effort that DA Doherty just described to seek justice in this matter. I've already spoken with my counterparts at the ATF and the FBI. They're here on scene as well. And as I said, we're going to continue to support this investigation as completely as we can. Thank you. We're not going to take any further updates as of this evening. Um, we will put out our next update early tomorrow morning. Um, we will post a picture of the officer on our Twitter feed shortly. Um, thank you for your patience. We will continue to post updates as soon as we can. But the next update, anticipated update, will be t first thing tomorrow morning. Can you spell the officer's name, please? Yes. It is Officer Eric, E-R-I-C, Tally, T-A-L-L-E-Y. He was 51 years old. He had been with the Boulder Police Department since 2010. Thank you. Since 2010. Not, not tonight. We will have our next update with questions for tomorrow morning. Will that Thank be a news you. conference? We will announce it on Twitter. Yes, we will have another update in the morning. Thank you. And it was 10 fatalities, including the officer. Correct.